Equipping your home theater system with speakers can cost a fortune. Even some of the cheapest soundbars perform well, especially if you watch a lot of dialogue-heavy content like TV dramas or listen to podcasts or audiobooks at home. Whether you're looking for a soundbar with a subwoofer for watching action movies or a small soundbar that'll fit under your TV, there's something for everyone in the budget range. There we have come up with the top 5 best budget soundbars in the market. You will find them not only informative, but also insightful. Let's get started with the video then. And don't forget to check the product link in the description. Number 1. Samsung HWB550. The Samsung HWB550 is a 2.1 soundbar released in 2022. It's the next generation of the Samsung HWA550 and performs quite similarly to its predecessor. It's a simple bar that's best for listening to stereo content, which includes most music and TV shows. If you want to improve its surround performance, you can add a wireless rear speaker kit, which is sold separately. However, there's no Dolby Atmos support to let you take advantage of more immersive formats on streaming platforms. The Samsung B550 is decent for mixed usage. As a 2.1 soundbar, it's ideal for listening to stereo content, which encompasses most music and dialogue-heavy TV shows. Out of the box, its neutral sound ensures voices and lead instruments reproduce with clarity, and you have lots of customization tools to change up its sound. The Samsung B550 is great for dialogue-focused TV shows and podcasts. With its balanced mid-range, voices reproduce with clarity and detail. You even have a dialogue enhancement mode as well as a night mode feature that balances out the volume between different programs and commercials. The Samsung B550 is great for music. Out of the box, it has a balanced sound, with neutral mids that ensure voices and lead instruments reproduce accurately. As a result, it's suitable for listening to most music genres. It gets loud, and you have lots of customization tools on hand to get it to sound the way you want. That said, there's a noticeable lack of bass on certain tracks, especially bass-heavy genres like EDM and hip-hop. Depending on the setup of your living space, you might not have room for additional satellite speakers. In that case, there are plenty of options available in the budget range that can still meet your needs, the best of which we've tested is the Samsung HWB550. It's a versatile bar with a dedicated subwoofer to bring the thump and rumble in action-packed TV shows and bass-heavy music genres. Number 2. TCL Alto 6 Plus. The TCL Alto 6 Plus is a simple, budget-friendly 2.1 setup from 2020. This soundbar is advertised to work seamlessly with TCL Roku TVs, allowing you to use this TV's remote to control the soundbar and access controls. It has a decent, although somewhat dark, sound profile, and it comes with three EQ presets so you can customize its sound. It can also get loud enough to fill a large or crowded room, and streaming your favorite audio to the bar is easy as it supports Bluetooth. The TCL Alto 6 Plus is okay for mixed usage. It's a decent choice for dialogue-centric content since its balanced mid-range reproduces voices clearly and accurately. That said, its sound profile can also sound a bit dark and flat due to the recessed treble and lack of low bass. The TCL Alto 6 Plus is decent for dialogue-centric content like TV shows. Thanks to its balanced mid-range, voices are clear and accurately reproduced, although they may sound a bit dark. You can enhance dialogue with the TV preset, too. The TCL Alto 6 Plus is alright for music. Its balanced mid-range reproduces voices and lead instruments pretty clearly, though they can also sound a bit flat and dark. The TCL Alto 6 Plus is fairly plain with rounded edges. It's mostly made of black plastic with a tight fabric to protect its speakers. The subwoofer is made from black MDF. It sits on four plastic pegs and the driver is located on its bottom side. The back of this bar has one opening for its inputs and power cord. 
It also has universal holes on its underside so that you can wall mount it. The TCL Alto 6 Plus has a decent build quality. It's mostly made from plastic, and the front of the bar is wrapped in a tight fabric to protect the speakers. Number 3. LG Subwoofer S90QI. The LG S90QI is the 2022 version of the LG SP9YA with built-in Meridian technology to help with audio reproduction. Alongside the LG S80QI, it's the first sound bar from the manufacturer with an upfiring center channel. There's also TV sound mode share support for sound enhancement with compatible LG TVs, and you can buy an external Wowcast dongle to connect it to your TV over a wireless connection. The LG S90QI is good for mixed usage. It's a versatile 5.1.3 setup with lots of sound enhancement features, including a room correction mode. With this on, its sound is quite even, with clear and present vocals and a present, thumpy bass. The LG S90QI is great for dialogue-heavy content, like TV shows. It's a 5.1.3 setup with a discrete center channel as well as an upfiring center channel that reproduce dialogue with clarity and accuracy. Clear voice mode enhances dialogue if you need it, and there's a night mode feature to balance the volume level when you watch TV at night. A dip in the treble range nudges higher-pitched voices towards the back in certain tracks. The LG S90QI is very good for music. Like most premium setups, it has a room correction mode to optimize audio based on your room's acoustics LG calls it AI room calibration. With it on, the sound is pretty even, and vocals and lead instruments are present in the mix. There's some extra boom in the bass out of the box and a dip in the treble that nudges some instruments towards the back in certain tracks. With its bass and treble adjustments, you can adjust its sound more to your liking. The LG S90QI is good for movies. Its dedicated sub reproduces the deep thump and rumble in the bass with action-packed scenes, and dialogue is pretty clear in the mix, too. Number 4. Finu 2.1. The PHEANOO 2.1 P15 soundbar comes with a clearly labeled remote control for simple, easy adjustments. Switch between different sound modes, turn off the LED indicators, bass adjustable, and select your input source in just one tap. Top mounted button, easily visible, for quicker, more convenient control. Works with 4K HD TVs and the older model TVs. The HDMI ARC Optical RCA and AUX connectivity ensures compatibility and hassle-free setup, making it the perfect companion for your TV, streaming stick, Blu-ray player, cable box, projector, and gaming console. This soundbar is designed as an easy and affordable solution to upgrade TV audio at home and is suitable for screen sizes of 55 inches and under. The LED status display on the soundbar dims automatically, and you can also choose to turn off the LED indicator by pressing the indicator button on the remote control. If you're more into wall mounting, the Fina P15 TV soundbar comes with an integrated wall mount. You just need two screws, and you can simply hang the soundbar up. To suit different audio needs, the Fina P15 features a variety of preset EQ modes including dialogue, movie, and music creating suitable individual sound curves matched to the content type to boost the sound quality and enhance your viewing experience. Easily stream all your favorite music, podcasts, or audiobooks from your smartphone, tablet, or any smart device via Bluetooth 5.0 connectivity to the TV soundbar. The HDMI ARC connection allows you to control the volume on the soundbar with the TV remote control, and the optical and RCA connections ensure compatibility with all the older TV models. There's also a 3.5mm AUX input for connecting external devices. Only the size of a keyboard, the Finu P15 soundbar offers louder, more powerful TV sounds with up to 107 dB of total SPL output and 140W maximum audio output. Number 5. Sennheiser AMBO Max. The Sennheiser AMBO Soundbar Max is a 5.1.4 setup with 13 speakers that delivers an impressively immersive experience for a standalone bar. 
This system has a unique 3D mode that helps sounds come from over and around you, without the need for wireless speakers. The Sennheiser AMBEO Soundbar Max is great for mixed usage. It has a unique 3D mode that greatly improves the surround performance, which is great for movies. Its overall sound profile is pretty accurate. While the bar still produces a good amount of bass, it's audibly lower than other frequencies at the same volume, which gives it a disappointing feel on stereo bass-heavy content like some music genres. On the upside, it has a room correction feature that adapts to your room, and the reproduction of voices is accurate and clear. The Sennheiser AMBEO Soundbar Max is excellent for dialogue-focused TV shows. It has a good overall sound profile with accurate mid-range performance, resulting in an accurate reproduction of voices with content like audiobooks, podcasts, or voices in TV shows. On the upside, the bar can get very loud and has a few features like a dialogue enhancement and a night mode for a better listening experience. You're also able to stream content wirelessly via Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and use its built-in Chromecast. The Sennheiser AMBEO Soundbar Max is good for music. Without AMBEO mode, the volume of the bass is much lower than with it on. Also, it has a room correction feature to tweak its sound quality depending on your room. The soundstage is decent and the bar performs well at max volume, which is pretty loud. The Sennheiser AMBEO Soundbar Max is good for movies. When using the AMBEO 3D mode, it's quite impressive and offers an immersive listening experience with movies thanks to the high number of speakers and the support for Atmos content.